And it was a very unique editing process even to this film. We shot all the interviews back in October of 2020. We were able to then take all of the interviews and start cutting right away. And we basically had an assembly of the film even before we shot all of the recreations and narrative of the film, almost like a, a previs. The amount that that saved us in cost and time and really get down to a more excellent version of the film came from us being able to edit the film prior to even shooting a lot of the film. All the ingredients are there. Post-production is the oven where it all gets baked garnished after it comes out. When you're putting all the ingredients together and you put a little bit of this and it's like, oh wow, like how it started out as one shot. It's really fun to kind of see that co come alive. It takes a unique director too, to be able to take inputs from trusted people, to be able to implement that in the scene. And we have that here with Steve. And so our editor, Sam, has just been good at piecing together these, these moments, these scenes. Jensen and Jason both said this was the best first cut of any film we've ever touched. No first cut is ever good. It's terrible. In fact, it has to be terrible. Like, and then you iterate on top of that. But when we watched the first cut of this film, we were all blown away. We've never felt we were closer to a final cut than Sam's first cut of this film. They don't have what they saw. Partway through the editing process, we got to do a screener with some industry people out in St. Louis. Hannah Parrott. We also did our first spotting session with our composer, Hannah Parrott. It was an art tour. It was um, pretty much all music on his abdomen, right there. The more pointed that function gets, the more interesting in my opinion, that a film starts to kind of, um, starts to breathe and with pace, really. Individually and then coalescing at their like shared experiences. Sam is pulling out some really fine, specific things out of these stories because they're good stories and it's good arc. After the screener in St. Louis, we went through yeah, some heavy refinements on the edit and we actually found two new stories, including Steve King and Dr. Zamar. 